Welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by Real Estate Business Intelligence and MRIS Company. Let's examine the most recent numbers for housing market activity in the nation's capital. Compared to the last three recessions, economic growth following the most recent recession is modest. For example, in the three years following the 1991 recession, GDP grew an average of 3.2% a year. Over the past three years, the annual rate of GDP growth has been only 2.2%. The economy is still adding jobs, but August was lower than most analysts had expected with only 96,000 new jobs, and the July jobs number was revised downward. The unemployment rate dropped to 8.1 percent, but that small decline was likely due to discouraged workers leaving the labor force rather than unemployed workers finding new jobs. Over the last 12 months, the U.S. economy has added 1.8 million new jobs, fueled by growth in the private sector. These private sector gains were partially offset by job losses in all levels of the government sector. Slow economic growth is likely the story for the rest of the year. At its September 13 meeting, the Federal Reserve initiated a third round of mortgage-backed securities purchases, or quantitative easing, and extended its commitment to maintain low interest rates through mid-2015. While intended to spur private sector lending, job growth, and support housing's recovery, there is no consensus these actions will have a significant impact, and Congress will have little appetite for legislative activity prior to the November elections. Despite some cuts in federal government jobs, the D.C. economy still posted healthy job growth, adding more than 16,000 resident workers over the past 12 months. The unemployment rate in the district is unchanged from a month ago, and that remains higher than the surrounding suburbs at 9%. Buyer activity continues to grow in the district's housing market. There were 608 sales in August, up 7.4% from this time last year, and the highest August level in three years. New pending contracts also increased relative to the past few years. There were 642 new contracts signed in August, representing a 13.8% increase over last year. While buyers are absorbing the inventory of homes for sale, active listings are decreasing. The 1,339 active listings at the end of August are 34.8% below August 2011 and are the lowest August levels seen in eight years. The declining trend for new listings also continues, though the rate of decline has eased. There were 639 new listings at the end of August, down 2.1% from last year, the slowest drop in five months. The tightening supply of homes for sale is having an impact on home prices in the district. At $439,000, the median sold price is up 9.8% from August 2011, the seventh consecutive month of year-over-year -year gains this year. While this level declined $18,000 from July, it is in line with seasonal patterns. Homes are also selling faster. The median days on market has dropped 11 days since this time last year to just 21 days. Despite the late summer housing market activity, Overall economic uncertainty and pending federal actions will likely temper the momentum as we head into the fall. Even with historically low interest rates, demand will likely ease up and price appreciation will moderate as some potential home buyers and sellers retreat from the market. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.